Carl. Yes. Queen Elizabeth II. This is relevant to the Jubilee. The Jubilee, yes. Yeah. Uh, she has had over 30 corgis in her lifetime. 30? Yep, 30. <laughs> <laughs> First question, what is the average age of a corgi? I don't know. Would it be different to the average age of a normal dog in any way? Yeah, because like small dogs obviously live longer, don't they? I want to see mm. if this checks out. <laughs> so there's there's different types of fucking corgi, bro. I thought a corgi was a corgi. Ah, you got a cardigan Welsh corgi and a Pembroke Welsh corgi. Pembroke. Yeah. What the fuck is a Pembroke I mean, Welsh corgi? It's a bit orange. Oh. Yeah, one's a bit orange. So the different colours are like a different breed of corgi. I guess so, but the ages range from 12 to 15. So, how many? 30, she's had. So let's just say 13, average age. Right. 390 years. Well, yeah, but she's not having one at a time, though, is she, Carl? How many is she having at a time? <laughs> I don't know. Ask her. Even if she has three at a time, that's 130 years. Well, she's clearly had a lot at one time. Dirty slag. <laughs> <laughs> she loves all corgis equally. Unlike Morrison's with that corgi cake. Yeah, right. That looks scuffed to fuck. Sold out 24-7 as well. Yeah, it's pretty... I don't know why it's sold out. Nope. It's fucking... It's just a Colin the Caterpillar. With a shitty face on it. I prefer calling the caterpillar personally. So, there we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Moving on from that fact. Thoughts on Obi Wan Kenobi. Right. So, uh, I'm going to assume we're not really going to be talking a whole lot of spoilers. Well, there hasn't really a lot of spoilers to have happened, was there? Yeah. By the time this comes out, there'll be a new episode, wouldn't there? Uh, yeah, they would have. Yeah, so it's fine. Because they're getting three episodes within a week. Half the series is going to be already done <laughs> within a week. <laughs> is there only going to be six episodes? Yeah. What? Yeah. His first two episodes are so <laughs> slow. <laughs> <laughs> the The main issue I had was, well, I thought the Princess Leia kid, even though everyone is saying that they're, they're terrible for some reason, I thought she was pretty good. Pretty yeah. spot on little... It's about what you would expect Knowing from a mini bitch. version of her. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. But the the issue wasn't her. The issue was the people chasing her. <laughs> <laughs> what were those chase scenes all about? Yeah, right. What the fuck? <laughs> when there's a fucking chest height stick, she runs into it and that's it. Bang. But oh. she had plenty of time to prepare for that as well. It wasn't like she just yeah. suddenly darted off. Why is it fully grown adults can't chase a ten year old? <laughs> She's got like fucking mirror's edge slides and shit. And I was I was saying to Billy, what is it with this new Star Wars thing and rooftop chases? That's true. Why do they all have a fucking rooftop chaser? <laughs> Why is it cool. always a rooftop? Billy said it might be because it's cheaper to do. Yeah, I can see that. But it's still Why? It was pretty pointless as well. Yeah. Nothing really came from it apart from no. her falling. In fact, um, literally yeah. nothing came from it. Because when uh Spoiler, Obi-Wan was being chased by the bounty hunters, right? He had three of them on him at one point. But as soon as Leia fell down that gap, they just got they yeah, just right. went. <laughs> they just disappeared. Where did that fucking they just gave up? Angry chick go. Exactly. What the fuck <laughs> even that, that far what away. was that all about? <laughs> Why did they all just like hold on, I'll leave you be. Made it all intense. Like, oh shit, we're gonna have a face down on you. Oh that happened. Yeah, happen. yeah. Um, and nothing happened. Mate. <laughs> but other than those issues, I thought it was quite good. Yeah. I did I'm, like it. I'm I think it's going to go some caught. good places. I'm waiting for him to get caught stealing that meat, though. Yeah. It's going to happen eventually, right? Well, uh, I already know it does because they spoiled it in like interviews, didn't they? Did they? Yeah. Oh. You and McGregor was talking about... I think they were talking about Hayden putting a suit on again. And then you and McGregor said something about how uh, it was intimidating and quite genuinely scary when he's, he's seen him in like seven foot Darth Vader costume <laughs> in front of him. So maybe that means they just seen each other. But I mean, they're spoiling also, a lot in these pref con yeah. conferences though. They are, yeah. But that is a classic Star Wars thing to do, isn't it? 
through spoil everything before it's out. I mean, really? Also, Stranger Things done the same shit with Hopper. When yeah. in the fourth season, I haven't watched it all yet. Neither. I'm very much liking it though. It's very good. Watched two episodes so far. But the the issue is at the start of these episodes, they're like, "Oh, is Hopper alive? Oh, what's going on? Who's these Russians? We already know. They shown it in a trailer <laughs> yeah, about a year ago. No point. Yeah, all kind of suspense for that whole situation. Dead. But the rest of the series, I'm liking a lot. I mean, my only issue with Stranger Things, there's always that bit of romance to cater to the females. Like, it could be such a cool series without having to incorporate that 24-7. Well, I don't know. It uh, Without spoiling it, it goes a lot less that way. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it, <laughs> gets, actually finish it, it gets a lot better. And I'd watch it as soon as, because I've seen earlier some of the better scenes in the later episodes are starting to get spoiled. Oh, bro. Yeah. So yeah. I'd stay off social media, <laughs> anything to do with strange things you've watched. Probably up until like maybe episode five-ish. That's about where I am. And I've seen what everyone's talking about. Great. I'm not going to say what it is because I'm not a, not a dickhead. Yeah, so. But uh, yeah, it gets very good. Very good. All right. Big fan. Well, the uh, whole improv thing went really well last time. It did. Good old... Gary. Yeah, definitely stuck to the whole routine, right? Yeah, the three lines is, is gone. That's not a game we play, apparently. Yeah, I'm not smart enough for it, if I'm honest. To be fair, it is a lot of brain work to think of the three lines. Yeah, so. I can't be doing that. So I thought we could uh, stick with the same thing of chatting shit. Right. Right. So I'm, I'm just going to kick it off with an open statement and you, and you rebound. Right. Okay. So you're in a forest, enjoying a hike, when all of a sudden you see... Uh, a bear with its cock hanging out, but it's a human cock on the bear. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready for all things. <laughs> Just not that. You weren't prepared for it to go that way already, were you? No. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, you climb into a bush to, you know, hide away from the bear. Yeah, the big cock bear. The big cock bear. Massive cock. <laughs> Alright, we get we get this got a cock, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you get a bit curious. So you, you stay in there and kind of watch to see what's going on. And it's not actually his cock. It's just a fully grown man being birthed through a bear's cock. Cock first. <laughs> <laughs> Except uh as the man started to come out of the bear, the bear gets a little bit peckish. And he starts eating the man that is being birthed from him. <laughs> Cock first. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> um during this, he he's actually not a bit peckish, he's very peckish. So he devours that bad boy very fast. To the point My where God. he starts devouring himself. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and when he does this becomes an empty void the bear has devoured himself the there's bear this... becomes a black hole yeah there's a little flicker of a light <gasps> bam Ooh. the universe the universe is in the bear uh, and it turns out that the universe isn't the universe it's just a matte black Honda Civic <laughs> and it comes out of the bear and it goes, beep, beep, boys, how's it going? Because it's got <laughs> sentience and that. And and the Honda Civic picks up this man. Takes him for a while. Uh, takes him over to France. <laughs> he just has a nice drive to France in the Honda <laughs> Civic. But the man, obviously, uh, uh, he's, he's wondering what's going on. It's going on there. Yeah, it's the Honda Civic because it's got sentience. So the Honda Civic goes, I can't answer your questions, you dirty mortal cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Highly secretive information as we drive down the south of France. The yeah. man tries to take control of the car. But the, the car brings out little knives underneath the seat. But they shoot across the seat, like shooting up from the bottom of, of the seat itself. So they stab him right in the ass. But there's also, in the middle of the knives, a random dealer. Because sometimes people will go have fun in this Honda Civic. Oh, goddamn. 
<laughs> you decide, you know, there's nothing you can do. But, so you just look around and take in the surroundings. Uh, and then just stand up with the knife still in ass. Because they, <laughs> they get stuck in, like, you know, when a, a bee stings you and the stinger stays in her. Yeah. That's what these knives are like. No. Oh. They stay in the ass. They're like serrated. <laughs> Yeah, serrated <laughs> knives in this car, in this Honda Civic. And he stands up. I don't know how he's standing up in the Honda Civic. He uh, just puts his head straight through the top. Oh, all right. Now it's convertible. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, climbs out the top of the Honda Civic. The Honda Civic's like, nah, bro. Not having that. Lasso's up the seatbelt. Puts <laughs> one of the knives in his ass and pulls him back in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> When he's back in the seat, the Honda Civic drives him over to uh, Uganda <laughs> and then drops him off with some Somali pirates. <laughs> <laughs> he realises that there's no nothing he can do in terms of getting back home, so he decides to embrace the lifestyle of a Somali pirate. And starts pirating loads of copies of Endgame. I don't think that's what they do. <laughs> 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 they got the wrong pirates. <laughs> And these are some high tech whiz Somali pirates, I guess. <laughs> They're normal Somali pirates. Oh. <laughs> they got to get that side hustle on these days. When was the last time you heard of the Somali pirates? True. That so they true. got this side hustle of selling copies of Endgame. <laughs> so sometimes, if you're lucky, you can get an Infinity War off them. But they are very exclusively those two films. Do you get it in a nice little case or. I oh, know, you get it in a dirty, dusty disc. <laughs> an old Lilo and Stitch case. <laughs> yeah. but, but they don't like any of the branding so they just uh, cut out Stitch by himself and put him on the front of the case I, I think that should have been the original anyway personally <laughs> just He's the highlight of the whole thing uh, and the guy embraces the, the pirate lifestyle but he thinks I've watched too much Endgame I've been pirating this for too long so he decides he's going to go to the cinema with a, a camera and record uh, the Batman <laughs> in 4K. Yeah. And he gets caught by the big greasy fat man. <laughs> Is he the king of the Somali pirates? That might be worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, so you come up with a character that I now have to give life to. Suspense, my friend, suspense. <laughs> and the, the big greasy fat man turns out to be no other than Gabe Newell. And he actually has no issues with what's going on. And he goes, hey, sir, would you like a Steam Deck? And the guy goes, nah, I'm in Uganda. Couldn't <laughs> even charge it, bro, if I wanted. And then he goes, well, how are you pirating DVDs? So surely that requires power. <laughs> and he goes, Lad, we're not. We're just getting empty discs and selling them on. <laughs> the ultimate scam. <laughs> Anyway, years pass. He's been doing this for years, Devlin, all right? right. Selling discs of nothingness. Yeah. And all of a sudden, in the distance, as he's speaking fluent Somali with a... I don't know if that is Somali, but it carries that's, on. That's fluent Somali for listeners, all right? right? Yeah. I know. Yeah, exactly. He has a little <laughs> newt newt in the distance. Only be one thing. It's the Honda Civic. The Civic's back, boys. <laughs> Honda Civic picks him up and goes, your time's up here, my friend. <laughs> and he takes him back to the bear. Oh. Yeah, this is not where I wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> the bear's like, this was a test the whole time. And out jumps Mr. Beast. And he goes, well done. You've got yourself $15 million. There's only two more challenges left. The first challenge is to see how long you can go without shitting yourself. But we've got loads of sugar-free Haribos. <laughs> You've got to eat them. All of them. The whole three, three kilogram bag. Good luck, my friend. Uh, I tried it the other day and I shit up the walls. <laughs> <laughs> well, Devlin. Against all the odds. He manages it. Oh, fuck it. He's on the verge of death. And he's like, Mr. Beast, sir, what is my last challenge? 
Uh, Mr. Beast goes, didn't think you'd get this far, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> you've definitely at least shit yourself a nope. bit, I'm sure nope. of it. That's, nope, that's the bear. Uh, you're a fucking stinky that's bastard. The bear, not me. <laughs> but the next challenge, uh, we didn't expect to get this far, so we make it up on the spot. you got to go on an island with... Uh, Back in <laughs> Kevin Spacey. Oh, no. <laughs> and he's got a taste for cock. <laughs> <laughs> your cock, my friend. You got to survive. Specifically, your cock. You got to, you got to survive 25 minutes without getting a trickle of Kevin Spacey's pre ejaculate on you at all. <laughs> well, little did Mr. Beast know that this man. Spent a long time with the Somalis, <laughs> and they are experts in avoiding lecoq. <laughs> <laughs> They're the expert pre-ejaculate they avoiders. Are trying to make it a whole Olympic sport. I have you know, uh, they are the best cock dodgers in the world. <laughs> but he puts his legs to work. He puts his hips to work. Right? Oh, jeez. He's moving. He's dodging. He's back flipping. Jesus. He's harnessing the power of the uh, the Somali tongue. <laughs> right, he's getting the tribal people on the island to come and embrace his cock, so he doesn't have to. <laughs> and it comes to it, and he wins. Right. And then Kevin Spacey does a backflip, but when he's in the air mid-flip, he disappears. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, "Whoo, off to the next child, maybe." A little Looney Tunes outro. <laughs> <laughs> And then Mr. Beast goes, well done. You've, uh, I can't remember how much money we owe you. Was it 10 mil, 20 mil? Uh, you can have 20 quid. Or uh, take the Civic. Oh, the sentient Civic. The Civic doesn't like you, though. Remind yourself of that. There is knives in the chair. Also a dildo, so you could have a good time. Yes. All right, take yes. the Civic. Yes. I will take that Civic, all right? He takes that Civic, and, he, and he's like, you know what? It's been a few years since me and my old Civic went down to the south of France. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> he, t he takes it down the nice windy roads, right? And then it's a bit quiet, you know? He's looking out to the sea, all beautiful, and then he feels something embraces ourselves slowly. <laughs> and out of the surprise... He jerks the car into, into a big cliff and oh, dies. No. Oh, fuck yeah, no. And yeah. then the bear just appears with Kevin Spacey at side. And they're just shaking their head. Just like, nah, you're fucked up here, kid. And guess what? This this man, he goes up to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and he nuts the guy at the gate. That's right. He's back. <laughs> it's Gary. This is the origin it's story. <laughs> 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 the origin story of Gary. I went to a theatre near you. A cinema. A, a, a uh, straight to DVD. One of those uh, TVs that you have in school that gets wheeled in once the whole time you're there. Uh, yeah, with the video player on the bottom. Yeah. And they're like, today we're going to watch Parts of the Caribbean. And you're like, fucking hell, miss. We watched this last year. But actually, it's Origins of Gary, because we've went to every school and swapped them out. Yeah. God's work. <laughs> the end. <laughs> well then, that was good. Always a good story there. Yeah. Improv stories. Where the way to go. Brought it back, you know. We're yeah. making this a series, boy. <laughs> <laughs> the saga of Gary. Oh, don't tempt me. Gary saga. Gaza. <laughs> Right then, on to the next topic, my friend. All right. Uh, do you want to do the two truth, one lie, whatever oh, it was? Oh, yeah, the return. Or... All right, so... Because... Wait, 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 wait. What? Game show music. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> uh, insert game show music. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. So I've decided that because I'm uh, unimaginative 
and it'd probably be too easy otherwise. I don't know how easy this might be, to be honest. But I've, I've flipped it. Whoa. And this is uh, one truth, two lies instead. Ooh. I know, I know. See, we don't repeat the same thing all the, all the, all the time. No, no, never do that. Nah, I wouldn't do that. That's not very mm. any podcast ever does. I don't know what you're talking never, about. Never, especially us. Yeah. So uh, my first one is uh, I smashed someone's head open on a window. On a window? Yeah. We talking a bottom or top floor? Bottom floor. And where was this? At school. At school. Yeah, and high school. What was the reason behind this? Uh, I can't fully remember to be honest. We were just there's some kind of fighting. I like to mean that uh, <laughs> a lot of you? WWE shit, obviously. And uh, there was a fair bit of just stupid fighting going on. Uh, and I ended up cracking someone's head open on the window. But it wasn't the window itself. The window didn't smash. It was on like an open window. Uh, on one of the little bits of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was the repercussions of it? Uh, fuck all. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. So it was a friend. It wasn't someone... Yeah. So I didn't really... Uh, I, d- I don't know what the term would be other than press charges in school <laughs> terms, but... Man's not a snitch. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't really say anything. Okay. Right. <laughs> the other one is... Uh, uh, once pushed a friend into the key. Alright, right. Uh, and that's about it. Just walking <laughs> by. Just man. Where at the key? Uh, you know, like all the way down on the right side, where it's like a bit lower. <laughs> Obviously, not like the deepest end towards the actual that sea. It down. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yes. Like uh, the other way towards where, like all the, I can't remember what the pub's called down there. It's like a fancy boy one. Like, as you go through town, you go down Barvenets, yeah. and then right. No, because it's past. It's not like over the bridge. Where you would go over the bridge, instead you go all the way down right. Right, I already believe this one. Now, what's the next one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the other one is I snuck into the cinema for free once. How'd you do that? I uh, just walked in with other people. They didn't check looking. your ticket? Huh? They didn't check your ticket? No. What movie? Uh, Mr. Be- was it Mr. Bean's Holiday? No, no one was in there watching it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. If no one's in there watching it, they don't tend to actually check tickets. The, my issue there is, did that come out recently enough for you to go in a cinema? Well, Mr. Bean's Holiday? Yeah, because I thought it's very old. It is old. Yeah, you're not that old. What? How old do you think Mr. Bean's Holiday is? Old, isn't it? No, no, no. <laughs> not old enough that it was like before oh. me going into the cinema 2007 yeah okay that makes it slightly more believable <laughs> all right so one of those is uh a truth the, the middle lies. the middle what the push friend of the key yep you think that's the truth i do it's not oh shit it's a lie <laughs> what was the truth cinema was a lie as well Smashing my heads, someone's head on open on the window was the <laughs> truth. Actually done it. Mad. <laughs> yeah. We were messing about. And he ended up like going backwards up into like the bottom of it. And it, it cut. Is that open? Oof. Yeah. Oh. It is alright. It wasn't that bad a cut. But saying smashed open meant it was a bit uh, less obvious. Yeah, I believe that. Up until you were like trying to explain where this bar was so specifically I was like oh come on surely <laughs> <laughs> right, what we got uh, watch someone get bottled on a bus okay what happens when <laughs> uh, I was on a bus uh, like <laughs> <laughs> obviously shit bro uh, I don't know what time must have been like half 11 or so on the way home from work when I worked in the, the call centre and there's a couple drunk nutters went on. And then they started getting into a bit of a rowdy one. Like, wah, 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 wah. you know how they are. When smackheads start giving it all that. Yep. And then they started fighting and dragging each other across like, you know, the bottom of the bus around the place. And then one of them just took his beer bottle, smashed it on the back of their head. Was the guy conscious afterwards or was he down? Yeah, no, they were right. <laughs> <laughs> that man's hard as nails. There's, there's quite a bit of blood, granted. But yeah, they were right. They got off the bus after. Do you obviously. remember what beer bottle it was? 
Uh, no, I don't remember what beer bottle it was. Mm, one second it wasn't. Specs. One second it wasn't there. <laughs> I didn't really pay attention. I was listening to my beats, and then the next it was across someone's head, smashed. So I didn't really get a look at the label of it. Mm, details. <laughs> What's the next part? Uh, so uh, I was there when someone first done the Ugandan knuckles thing on VR chat. When all of that was, when all of that started off. When was this? Uh, I don't know. It might have been like 2017, 2018. Very long time ago now. Uh, no, I didn't even have a VR headset at the time. Yeah, I didn't have a VR headset, but you could use VR chat without it. So uh, me and my mates used to go on there without that. And we uh, spotted the Uganda Knuckles for the first time. Before they had their own island and shit. What are they doing? The little, you know... But clicks and stuff. Yeah, there was only a couple of them to begin with, but they were doing the click clicks and then being like, my queen. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, spit on the fake queen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what's what's the final part then? Uh, I got caught stealing Doritos from Pound Man. Why? <laughs> <laughs> There's no Is point like... stealing anything from Pound Man. Well, I was very young. Yeah. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm saying it now. That first one's the truth. What, the someone getting bottled? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because you told me that one. <laughs> oh, see, I wasn't sure. <laughs> I recognised it. Yeah. Pretty rough. But I, 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 the second one kind of got me, though. Because like, that sounds like something that would happen. It did kind of happen. I wasn't there at the very start. I was there when it was kind of before it was a meme. Yeah, so it's kind of true. Yeah, there used to be a lot of groups like it. A lot of people just used to go around in different groups of the same skin. Yeah, and then the Uganda Knuckles one was the one that I guess stuck because me and my mates, a couple of us, decided to go around as, you know, the alien from Toy Story. Yes, we ran around, just went the claw. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we did. That's all we said. <laughs> to anyone, and we ended up with about 30 people following us around doing it. That sounds better than Uganda Knuckles. Yeah, opinion. the Uganda Knuckles one got a bit rough, didn't it? Yeah. Got a bit nasty. There also was like a civil war in the whole of VR chat yeah. as well. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> they were like the great times of that app. Right. How many more have you got of this? Uh, I've got one more. Oh, the penultimate one. So uh, I snuck into Creeley for free. Just forget the other sneaking in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I'll entertain this. Uh, how old were you? Uh, I don't know exactly. Very young, though. Me and my cousin snuck in with another family. <laughs> while uh, my aunt paid for just her. Some kind of fucking and immigration thing going on. Kinda. She <laughs> paid for her and I think it was my uncle or maybe one of my other cousins. And then me and one of my cousins just snuck in in front as another family went in and didn't pay. How how young would you say? What? That I was. Know. Yeah. I don't know, maybe like 11, 12? Okay. I was, I was going to try and catch you out then because if you're under a certain age and you're getting free. Oh. No, yeah. it wasn't that point. It no. was like after that point and she still didn't want to pay for us. Okay. So she was just like, go home, quit, go home with them. And you didn't get caught? Nah. Pretty no. don't really give a shit, do they? That's true. All right. Although not long, like we went there a couple of years after that. And I think they tightened it up a bit. <laughs> Tighten up security. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we can do it again. Had Very high end establishment. Yeah. Uh, What's next? Had a seagull fly down and steal a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that just like a way of life? Well, uh, uh, it's still. It's one of the <laughs> things I've got on here, right? Where were you at this time? Exmouth. Most of my beach trips are Exmouth, mate. How exciting. Yeah. Uh, what kind of sausage are we talking? Jumbo battered. Bad solo tier, man. What? I quite Already like greasy I quite like about That is true. More but grease? Yeah, but sometimes they're not really greasy. They're the good ones. Did he take the whole sausage? No, nah, just a bit of it. Just like half, I think. Oh, so it's not a big loss. That was a huge loss. Already really. had some of your sausage. 
He had a bit of the sausage and flew away. Well, Took can't. it with him. Man, this is why seagulls need to just not exist. <laughs> they're protected though, aren't they? Yeah, somehow. Can't even they're do little, anything. They're literally little pricks. Yeah. There's one down Marsh Barton. At what? The, well, no. <laughs> what this, specific this seagull? This one stands out, right? <laughs> <laughs> it, it chills down in the Mahidees and it's got one leg. One leg? Got one leg. What it just hops around. <laughs> what a legend. I feel bad for that one. Yeah, right. Well, well, I guess you can put him down, can you? He's a little Not soldier, allowed. mate. Yeah. Still alive. The queen is forcing him to stay alive when he shouldn't be. Yeah, fucking cool. Pretty bitch. rough. Uh, and the other one is I broke my wrist when I fell out of a tree. When you fell out of a tree? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> just broke it again. I just as broke you it my elbow bed. on my, my bed there. <laughs> um, how old? Uh, probably... However old you are in year seven. 14? Like 13, I think. 13, 14. Yeah. Okay. Um, what tree? Uh, out of the back of my cousins, he's got a big, long garden. And then there was a fence. And behind that was this, like, big field bit. We weren't allowed in there, but we always went in there anyway. Your cousin's awfully involved in these stories. Well, uh, I hung around with him a lot when I was younger, I guess. Hmm. Suspicious, then, uh, I would say. <laughs> there was a big tree, and it always had apples on, and we were always told don't eat them. So surprisingly, we didn't actually. I don't well think, or at least I didn't. I don't remember. If was it like the big fatty green apples? Nah, oh. they were they were looking pretty nasty. They weren't oh. great because it wasn't like a tree that was looked after. <laughs> and then uh, climbed up pretty high in there, fell off, wrist first, landed on it. And what happened to the wrist again? Did it break? Yeah. How was the hospital trip? Pretty uh, long. And the uh, healing process, how did that go? Uh, not well. <laughs> Metal plate in there. Yeah, I know you've done something to your wrist, but I don't know if it was that or not. Yeah, well, see, scar. Yeah. Scar on it. I don't think it was a tree. Was it not? What was the first one again? Uh, it snuck into Creeley. And the second one? Uh, Flegel stole my sword. Flegel stole my <laughs> The fuck is a Flegel? <laughs> a flying flea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seagull stole my sausage. I believe that one. You reckon the sausage is real? Yep. It's not. Yet. Was it the third one? No. Oh. I broke my wrist when I was riding my bike. I fell onto a curb. Yeah, I, I knew it was something. Yeah. Uh, I actually snuck into Creative for free when I was younger. Oh. Yeah, that was real. What a criminal. Yeah, right. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing that actually happened. Oh. Just snuck in with another family. I only got one right. I've done out it twice. Three. Twice? Yeah. Fucking Jesus. Re-offender. Right. <laughs> put, your, put your face up on posters around Greeley. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's, Wasn't that what, what was that? One out of three? Yeah. What, I can't remember what you got, to be honest. I think one out of four. Oh. So I've done better, technically. Fuck. Yeah. You should have got an extra one in, mate. Yeah, I forgot that you done four last time until earlier, and I was like, I can't bother. Oof. But they were good, though, weren't they? They were. Threw you off. They did. You're a very good liar. It worries me. <laughs> right, so we've got a new segment. Oh, we do have a new segment. We do. It's the alcohol uh, tier list. Oh, whoa. Yeah. All right, get your phone back up before we get... Crack open those cans. Yes. Because we need to explain the list. Yeah, this is very important details, all right? Yes. So. <laughs> all right, all right. We Jesus got six. Christ. Six different tiers, right? Same as any other tier list. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah, nice one, mate. But the names aren't. No, they are not. Yeah, we have named them We're original. Yeah. So we'll start from the bottom one. Yeah. Right. So the worst... Yeah, will be liquid ass. Yeah, like when there's baby shit or diarrhea shit yep. and it's all wet and a bit... Coming from work or school and your dog's just made a fucking slip and slide of shit. <laughs> <laughs> slip and slide of shit. Liquid <laughs> ass. That's the bottom tier. That is Be the worst possible drink. Speaking of dog, dog water is the next one up. Yeah, where it's, you know... Slimy. Like, you don't want to drink it, nah. but... You, you, it's not gonna hurt you by drinking it. And oh, this is great leading on to the next one. Yeah, uh, not gonna hurt, 
is poison is not. Yeah, that's the next tier is uh, not poison. Yeah. You drink it. Doable. Yeah. But like Stella. It's all right. But it's, <laughs> it's like our, uh, what's that, D or C? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And our mid one is Sight. 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 You know, nothing, nothing too special, but yeah. I'll drink it. Then going on to the big boys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Number two Let's is go. double A. Yeah. Like the battery. That's that's the best kind of battery. Yeah. Why can't everything just be double A? I know. It's just annoying. It is annoying. Everything should either be rechargeable or double A. Sometimes it's better as double A because the double A will last longer. Yeah. So double A is the second. And the number one, the highest of high tiers. A throwback to the last episode. Yeah. Because we're very good at doing that. Yeah. Hit milk G fuel. Hit milk G fuel. It's got to be absolutely poggers. Right, <laughs> the best drink. A drink that we drink it and we're like, fuck it, yeah. hell, lad. And not because we would want a sponsorship. Uh, I'd want a sponsorship from all of them personally. Even even Liquid Ass? <laughs> Money's money, my friend. What if they just don't sponsor with money? They'd like, you can have free of said I'd drink. I'd sell it. No one's buying it if it's Liquid Ass. <laughs> People always buy alcohol, car. Fair point. People buy Savers cider from Morrison's or whatever. People always buy, yeah, people always buy alcohol. All right, so if I grab our first drink to be uh, initiated, I can, if you'd want, want to uh, read out what it's called. It is called, it's from Brewdog. It's called Mellow, Mallow Laser Quest. Mellow Laser Quest. Though. Yeah. Like, like marshmallow. It's some ASMR. Well, it's not marshmallow, it. is it? It's marshmallow. Oh. It's, Difficult Hopefully to do this with cool. a mic man. Alright, it's got a... Oh, it's, it, the flavour is marshmallow and pineapple. Yeah. Um, Hazy 6% IPA. volume. Big one. Right, Here's my friend. Um, hmm. It's a bit cidery, you know. It is. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I don't taste the marshmallow. No. Not at all. <laughs> not great for a listener no <laughs> but we're just taking squids swigs from a drink that they can't hear <laughs> well we could put a photo of the brew dog so that they can envision it so brew dog get on the pod please i want the leader of brew dog i don't like the uh little slogan though that, an arcade of fruited flavor that brings it down a bit for me uh so what does that even mean i don't know because What's laser quest i guess Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, I guess that'd be in an arcade. What is this laser quest about? What's what's laser quest got to do with pineapple? I don't know. <laughs> oh my <Fucking> god! Hell. <laughs> I have to move the bike away from that. <laughs> <laughs> that was an eruption. Um, what are we saying about this one then? Because mm. it's not awful. It's drinkable. It's smoother than I thought it would be. Yeah. Smoother than a lot of IPAs, to be honest. I thought it would be quite bitter because of the pineapple. Yeah. And IPAs in general are pretty rough to drink. I'm saying either it is eight or poison is not. I don't think it's at the point where it's poison, it's not. Because it's... It's, uh, it's it's drinkable, isn't it? It's I could get through that can fairly easy. The aftertaste has got the mellow in it. Yeah, it does. Hmm. It's all right. I'd say it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, I'll put it on site. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there's, uh, there's the segment. Duh. <laughs> Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> right then. What we have next is I want to know. This is a quick segment. All right. Your favorite album of all time. See, it's a, it's a tough one. The situation Because I listen to a lot of music. You can only listen to this for, for the rest of life. Uh, I'll be that good. It's That's such a hard question for me because I listen to so many fucking genres and I have favourites on all of these. Same. Same. So it's a bit rough. Like I don't... I'd put American Idiot up there as a bit of a masterpiece but then there's... I don't know if I'd... An album I could listen to constantly... Hmm. Mm. See, I'm having to crack open the Spotify for this. How about we do it like this as well? So, if we can guess each other's album, 
it'll be three points. And if you could also guess I, I the don't band, know there's a point system. It's one point. I'm making this up as I go. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, hmm, hmm. See, can I try and guess yours? Yeah, you can try and guess it. Um, I'm going to go for... Right. I've not listened to any of their albums, but cool. I know you like them. <laughs> <laughs> Bullet for my Valentine. All right. Green Main Fire. So yeah, it was almost there. I uh, prefer the previous album, The Poison. I was going to say that, but it's like the first <clears throat> albums aren't normally that good. It, is, it was absolutely fucking great. But I don't I don't know. <clears throat> There's also a chance I'd go with OK Computer from Radiohead. That's just a fucking great album. You're, you're seeing the but, uh, generations here as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a bit. <laughs> fucking hell. I've listened to none of these. You probably, have you even heard of Radiohead? Yeah, of course I have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't. Yeah, probably either the Poison or OK Computer. I think any other album is kind of. I don't know. I don't think I've listened to any other album as much as those two. All right. Well, try and guess my best album of all is time. Is it from Twenty One Pilots? Can you name the album? Uh, give me a second here. Because I don't remember 21 Pilots albums other than the newest one. I can't remember the name of that. <laughs> Trench? Nope. No. Uh, Scaled on Icy. You know what? I'm, I'm going to stop you there. There's not even a 21 Pilots album. That's oh, my so favourite. I was leading you on. It wasn't very nice, was it? was yeah. a fucking point in that, then you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you better fucking watch yourself in my house, mate. Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Right. Is it like NF or something? Nah, someone it, I've never heard of. It probably is someone you never heard of. Right. But if the viewers are under the age of 50, unlike you, they would have. Judging um, by the demographics on Spotify, they're from 25 to 28. Uh, well, if they're black... <laughs> <laughs> um, Off Season by J. Cole. Fucking never heard of it. So it's a J. Rap Cole, album, but... But... J. Cole is ridiculously good. Is he now? Very, very, very good. I mean, Limp Biscuit's pretty good rap as well, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and the reason behind it is there is not one bad song, which is a big thing for an album, for it to yeah. be the best one. Yeah. And it came out at a time where it like it hit me in the feels, you know? Relating yeah. to it. Yeah. Yeah. But it would have been scaled on IC. But one song let it down. What's that? And that was... Uh, what's it called again? Fucking No Chances at the end of the album. Oh, yeah, it's kind of shite. Yeah. Why'd they do that for? <laughs> to be fair, that, for me, that album is about maybe 60 40 in terms of good songs. It was. Although the good is 90, very 40. good, it's, it's still 60 40 because the bad is very bad. It works perfectly as an album, though. I guess, but you're all into the 21 part of school. Yeah, I just boy. listen to music. <laughs> yeah. See, now I'm thinking of other albums. Like I could go with Artists in the Ambulance by Thrice. Or no idea. Gunship Dark All Day or their first album. There's so many. There are. This is They're fucked, bro. Difficult. That's not fair, bro. <laughs> I want to pick every album I like. Stop. Yeah, I struggled to narrow down worst, so I kind of did it as a whole for one artist. <laughs> worst album. Yeah. Right. Um, I went for any Sean Paul album. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who I'm going about any anything from Scooter. Why the entire discography <laughs> of Scooter? <laughs> fucking shite. Or DJ Cammy, any of those. Fucking N Dubs. <laughs> Mate, and how are you not saying Sean Paul? <sighs> that man puts on fucking Jamaican accent throughout the whole of his life. Got to respect. Have, it. You, have you heard him sing? No. I actually sing. Yeah, no. he's got a good voice. Yeah, well, why, why would I listen to that? I'm already put off by the fact that he's doing shit music. I, I know, but he's actually got a good voice, so I don't understand why he's trying to be Jamaican. Well, do you know what? Who should do an album in a certain way that would easily become like top tier for me and probably is if Post Malone done like a rock album. Oh, it needs to happen. Imagine. Imagine. Do you know who else would do a really good rock album? I've said this to you before. Who's that? Harry Styles. Yeah. 
And we were hoping there'd be a bit of like more heavier funk stuff in his new album. Yeah. And he does tease it. Yeah. Quite a bit in we a couple hype. of his songs. And then it just went and back he to the ruins usual. It. Yeah. Turns out that whole album is mostly the same shit. Like, every song's the same. You can just listen yeah. to one. We listened to right. like, what, four or five, and then we were able to call the way every other song was going to go. I mean, I hope no Harry Styles fans are listening because they are dreaming of this album. That is true. For some reason. Because it's it's like with Dua Lipa and stuff. A little bit of funk is making its way to mainstream, which is good because it's nice. good. Refreshing. Yeah, it sounds good. But it's also, it's all the same sounding kind of funk. Yeah. So it's all a bit, it's getting a bit boring for people who aren't. Need to twist know, up EDM a bit. Fan. I mean, if you listen to EDM and chart shit all the time, it's probably a pretty good little change up. But I don't. Yeah. So it's couldn't. not. <laughs> <laughs> right, Dev. I want to ask you a question. Oh, okay. Right. So you get one. I was going to say 100 mil then, but I'm not going to be that nice. 10 mil spent in 24 hours. And if you don't, right. die. Mm. I die if I don't it? spend it. See, spending 10 mil in 24 hours, I reckon that's pretty easy. Time limit isn't really necessary. Yeah, I don't think it is. Because the big purchase stuff normally takes days to process. Yeah, but you've already put the money in. Yeah, but you have to go through, like, say if you want to do a stock. Hmm. Sometimes you have to be like, oh, I have to go through this lawyer, blah, blah, blah. So I didn't know this was part of the, the thing. Well, you got to think, mate. You're going to die. I thought that <laughs> it was a case of once the money's gone, then you're good. Well, yeah. But it also takes time to go sometimes. Oh, yeah, what's that matter? Once your bank's <laughs> saying your money's out of your bank, surely that's the point where you're like, all right, job done. Right, I'll allow it then. I'll allow it. All right. So... Initially, I was like, well, I'll just buy a fucking big old house. Easy. Big job old done. house. Yeah. And I was like, that's a bit of a boring fucking answer. It is. Uh, so I decided that what I would do is I would make an investment. Ooh. Got to spend money to make money, Carl. I made that's an investment too, so you go on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know if our investments will be the same. Uh, I was going to invest by buying up a uh, porn company or two. A what, sorry? Porn company or two. Are we talking porn as in sexual porn or yep. selling? Oh. Yep. What kind? Because what makes fucking money more than anything? Porn. What, what kind of porn? I don't know what kind of... They fucking do what they want. It's their studio. <laughs> I'm just owning it. you, you got to get into a market where it's like necessary though. If it's the same old shit, then no one's going to care. Fuck off, Carl. It's right. porn. Sorry. <laughs> it's porn. You People don't... are going to watch it regardless. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So People how, can put up the most boring shit and it will get 80 million views. <laughs> Just have a bit of clickbait and you're fine. Exactly. How much so, are you spending on that? A full tail mill. Or all of it? Yeah. Because I've I've got to spend it in 24 hours. But then after the 24 hours and everything's done and I own those companies, I'm making more money back. I see why you tried to argue the case of processing fees. Yeah. Because <laughs> I need to own a company. Yeah. <laughs> and then at that point, Bang, I'm making my money back. Then I can start doing the frivolous spending that I want. And then when people are like, cool, I have you made your millions of that? Well, I own porn companies. Porn is everywhere. It is what makes money. What made VR big? Why is VR massive? Because VR porn exists. Everything that has ever <laughs> done well in this world is because of porn. Wow. Incredible. Sky TV. Bit of porn on the end. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so instead of me buying one thing, I've decided to put the money towards four separate things. Oh God. All right. So I'll, I'll start off with the cheaper thing. Right. I want a Pepsi lime dispenser. A Pepsi lime dispenser. Yeah. But like huh? the kind of dispenser you get at Mackey D's. But with Pepsi lime in? Yeah. In my room. Could you not just get like a general dispenser and put nah, I want a, lime in I it. want a full on bad boy where someone has to come and service it once in a while but you why is it the Pepsi line specific because surely those dispensers one. are just the same either way nope. it doesn't matter what you put nope. in them nope I want they Pepsi literally line. are that's how they work I want, it's just, I want Pepsi lime Devlin uh, is what you're saying is you just want Pepsi lime as a soda stream big soda stream right <laughs> 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 Give me Pepsi Live. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to build a bunker in my back garden. All right, Colin Furs. 
Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just want one. It'd be cool. Fucking suss you right out, boy. Get off YouTube. <laughs> yeah. It'd be sick, mate. It is pretty sick. His is pretty sick. Yeah. And this tunnel of his is taking a long time. But mine would be better. To be fair, he's got to be careful with those tunnels because the men will come. They see a nice new tunnel and they will appear. Yeah, you've got to reinforce that bad boy. Yeah, they've got the men in the tunnels are fucking rough to a new tunnel too. You've got to They'll get bring a Roman deflector. Yeah. Unless he just starts putting meat down, then it'll be alright. They'll be they'll stay out of his way. Yeah. But he's got kids. And Put some spam tins out around. The men in the tunnels, they'll be hell unleashed unless the men in the tunnels get their meat. That's the way it is. Right, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh the final two right i'm gonna buy some shares in golden wonder all right cool I, what are they on the up and up or what because nope. I, I don't think so no oh nope, but i just want shares in golden wonder all right could you not do that now yeah but it's still like pretty a tiny expensive. amount the whole company sold for like 320 million recently so i don't know it sold recently yeah sad hopefully they bring back some of the old Boys. Fingers crossed because they yeah, are very golden good. wonder in the normal shops again, please. Yeah, why is it always Never on the corner up. shops? It's fucking like golden wonder, just like their normal crisp, like their variation of, I guess, a Walker's crisp. So good. I mean, it shits on Walker's. So good. Like their cheese and onion is so good. It's <laughs> unreal. <laughs> Everything they do is. I don't think I've had a bad, like a really bad golden wonder crisp. I can't think of any bad golden wonder crisp. No, my favorite ones are barbecue sauces. What's it's are great and they were originally Golden Wonder. All my time. The rest of my money. Yeah. I'm gonna get other people to invest as well, because I'm sure there's other people out there. Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but my dream thing would be a dishonored series. What TV series? Yep. Alright. And I I'm I'm putting all the rest of the money into that. How much is going to be left after that. Don't know. Quite a bit, I'd imagine. I don't know. Well, Pepsi dispenser shouldn't well, be Well, that's too not going to cost a lot. That's going to be like <laughs> a couple grand. A couple grand? You wanted the big boy, dear. Not that big. Fuck you now. Oh, well, I thought you were thinking like back in industrial Mackey D's <laughs> big. That's what you were saying. Is that a couple grand? Yeah, they're expensive, bro. What? What? You really yeah. reckon they go for like 200 quid or something? Um, like 10 mil budget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're not cheap. Uh, the bunker shouldn't be too much. Depends how much I want it to yeah, be very would, bunkery. Well, you'd also need to own the land you're building it on. Yeah, back garden. Because the council ain't giving no fucking building permission to be like, yeah, you can. Put I just want to tell them. Yeah, I don't think that's how that works. They're not peering you, over. You would also have to get the permission. Nope. So this whole uh, oh, you could you this be twenty four hours. You couldn't even do it in twenty four hours. Pro- you can't. Permission. You couldn't even <laughs> get it. No wonder you had to put leeway on it. Because you wouldn't be able to do it in 24 hours. The money would be able to leave, but you'd need to get the permission I'm and everything. fast as fuck, boy. Yeah. Uh, and the uh, shares in Golden Wonder, say it, say like a mil into that. Yeah. I got what, like... Probably nine, like maybe... 9.2 yeah. maybe? I'd say maybe 8 mil. Right. Because that bunk is expensive. It has to be reinforced, to be fair. Yeah. And livable in. Livable win. Yeah, as in, like, you're not going to go down there and I can... Not just livable. Suffocate. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that would be a good amount to start a series. What, with eight other mil? investors. Do you know how much series usually costs? With other investors. A lot more than eight mil. Yeah, but I'm not fucking Game of Thrones rich, am I? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's what we'd spend our ten mil on. Yeah. Arguably, I think um, I'm doing better off, to be honest. You're putting shares in a company that's already died. I got three Golden Wonders. Well, where, where, where was this thing? Because my Cause you got shares. amount of shares. That's not how that works. You yep. still have to pay for them. Nope. And you're going to have to go to the fucking corner shop to get them. I'll buy that corner shop. Well, that's different. <laughs> 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 that changes things. <laughs> so, I think news. Yeah. Well, you've got all the news this week. I couldn't find any. I'm oh, fucking slacker, man. Uh, but... Insert news stinger. Right, they were so good every time. Um, hits me, hits me in the feels. I'm, like, it like, is. I'm about to cry. I, I am crying. Beautiful, beautiful. Made straight from the YouTube bank. Right. So the first one is it's very uh, Florida based. 
Florida man. <laughs> Classic. So a study reveals fish in Florida waters contaminated with drugs. What drugs? Uh, I've got the list of drugs if you want to know. List? Yeah. Multiple? Multiple drugs. How's this happened? Uh, so the list is as follows. Uh, blood pressure medic for ki- <laughs> blood pressure medication, antidepressants, <laughs> prostate treatments. Well, at least there ain't no sad fish. <laughs> <laughs> Antibiotics, pain relievers, and a lot of other drugs. Some that they can obviously find out. Right. But I'm worried about the prostate ones. Yeah, what the fuck? What is all that doing to fish? Is it just in the water, though? No, the, it's, they tested the fish. Oh, so they've been testing the fish with these? Yeah. What the fuck? The Why? fish have this in them. <laughs> Why? I thought they usually test, like... Oh, that's that brew dog again. Whoa. I thought they usually <laughs> test rats and stuff, not fish. What's the, what, are they gonna, what kind of information do they get from a fish? I don't know, but they found out that it's got drugs in it. And I guess the pharmaceutical companies have been, like, putting their waste into the the ocean i'm so confused. you said they were testing the fish yeah it, well they're testing to see if the fish have drugs in them oh uh, i thought you was <laughs> saying <laughs> that they were testing <laughs> the drugs on the fish no, it's put frosty fucking <laughs> exactly that's on a fish no they naturally well not naturally but they no, it's not take natural at, at all is it take them out the water water <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, they found all these drugs. Okay, Women wow. fish. Absolute maniacs. Yeah, right. Absolute smackheads. Speaking of smackheads and maniacs. Uh, oh, here we go. Next one is Florida man arrested for throwing alligator through a drive through window. Always Florida man. 2016, Always. by the way. Wait. Always Florida man. Throwing an alligator through a window. Uh, Joshua James, 24, threw a 3.5 foot alligator through a Palm Beach County Wendy's drive through window. Okay, <laughs> now. Go uh, on. He was also charged with illegally possessing an alligator and petty theft. Possessing, illegally possessing an alligator. Yeah. Then that's a thing in Florida. Wait, and theft, but not vandalism of the window. <laughs> Actually, it's like borderline assault. Yeah. I'm an alligator. I would have thought, if anything, out of. So, You've got, he had held of a, he had possession of an alligator. Right, fair enough. Not that big a crime, really. And <laughs> petty theft, which was probably of the alligator, I assume. Probably, yeah. But the fact that he threw an alligator through a window to attack someone, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. It's quite impressive, really, throwing a, a big ass alligator through a window. It is. It's also impressive to get away with it, essentially. <laughs> well, we got arrested, so... Yeah, but not for that. <laughs> he only got put away for like six or eight months. That makes sense. That's it. <laughs> right. What the fuck? America's <laughs> a weird place. It's like Florida, I was saying specifically. yesterday, I watched a video on Reddit where there was a zoo. It was on, in a zoo and two gorillas, they were getting, they were like squaring up and then they had a big old fight, as they do. Right. But then in the background, there's some American mum going, Where's the zookeeper, my child? <laughs> it's like, What are you expecting them to do? What is the zookeeper going to break up a fight between two fully grown gorillas? Are you broken? Especially what they're made for. Yeah. <laughs> it's their genetic. And then, like, making. it got me thinking that in this weird world, because of like everything going on, and in America, you have a mum who is uh, scared of her kid seeing some gorillas fighting. But it's okay with that same kid going down to get a gun. Yep. What a fucking country that is. <laughs> yeah, how many was it since the start of the year? Like 288 shootings or some shit? Yeah, I can't remember. It's, uh, they've had a, a school lot. shootings as well. And then the most recent one was a very bad one, wasn't it? Because the police were scuffed in that. Yeah. Where, yeah. And I've seen a, a, a news bit where someone was interviewing a kid who survived it and he was saying that he wanted to tell people his story pretty brave for a kid yeah pretty big man he's making it in life uh but then he was saying about how he got him and his mates hidden under a desk like i assume it was one of those like slide i think it was one he said with a cover in front so it couldn't be seen big boy nice. smart boy but then he heard the cops come in and say to shout help 
so that they could find them. And then they heard, uh, he said he heard one of the people in his class shout for help and get shot dead. Nice. Yeah. So the American police <laughs> fucked. thing is, every time it happens, the president will release like some statement saying how sad he is. Yeah. Won't do anything. No. Nah. He gets too much money from gun companies. Ted Cruz is worse though, isn't he? So he's been going around in the state looking at all the families. And then whenever they're like getting angry at him, just like, well, it's not a gun problem. Literally it's a security is. problem. Are you saying something about how it's an issue to have the doors, uh, because the, the shooter went in through the back door of the school. Oh, right, yeah, that makes he sense. He said that yeah. it, the issue wasn't the gun. No. The issue not. was the back door wasn't locked. And the reason we don't get it over here isn't because we don't have guns, it's because our security in schools are so high. Right, I mean, yeah. we've got, like, biometrics on the doors and shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fucking Back. idiots. Literally. Man's a moron. They're, they're all, all stupid. They're all morons. Granted, there's obviously the people that are normal over there. Not everyone in America is a fucking retard. Yeah. But, Most. Uh, <laughs> the few aren't really making the many look any, like very good right now. No. They need to sort that shit out pretty soon. Yeah. Or it gets worse. It's getting worse. Yeah. I don't know if it is going to get sorted because they love their guns. They do. They, love they their do guns love their guns. And guns. Money. Yeah. Well, we just love our money. Yeah, and toy guns. And shit teeth. Yeah, well, I mean, we don't love shit teeth. But just because we love it. those teeth sorted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that my teeth are crooked. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the gap, Stacey. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my tooth the other day. Uh, I'm so glad I did. I, look, I can fit the old pee through it, bro. I can't eat properly anymore. I was trying to eat a <laughs> potato the other day. I ain't got the tea for it. I can, I can put a straw right through it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is uh, it. I feel, I don't think I have anything else. Do you um, have anything else? We can save the rest of it for the next pod. Well, I don't have anything else anyway. So. Oh, hey. So there's the end. Bit of a sad note with the pew pews and that. Yeah. But here's what it is. America is stupid. Factors need to be sorted. But so. Jubilee's happening. Yeah, Jubilee. Go on, Queenie. Go on, Corgis. She's, I've heard that she's pulling out a truck again. Oh. Huh? Yeah, bring it back. <laughs> First episode, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to drive a, a truck from France to Austria. What is with this France obsession with driving? <laughs> I don't know. I don't fucking know. I think it's because I was looking at my Eurotrack DLC the other day and I seen Viva La France on there. Right, we need to pick a new location for next time. Fucking uh, Southern Australia. Seoul. Seoul. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Seal, the, the singer? Yeah. <laughs> right, so, usual. Share, like. Do things shit on your keyboard and then when you go to wipe it off make sure you're hitting the like button oh also halfway through the season we are yeah we are halfway through Fucking never are. mentioned 12 episodes a season yeah 12 episodes a season that's more than obi-wan is getting yeah so we're better than disney yeah and our episodes are also longer and even better one episode a season confirmed will be a piss up one that is, yeah. Undecided which one. That's what happen. I mean, to be fair, there's always next Tuesday because I'm off all week. And guess what? Same. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and my cousin's here. Well, oh boy. So, lucky number oh, seven. Hey, maybe, maybe. Uh, <laughs> so there we go. Job done. Good boy. I'll see you in a bit, bro. Yeah. yeah Give it back Wednesday. Give it back Wednesday. Give it back. Give it back on Tuesday, but not Thursday. <laughs>